Hello, everyone. This is your Saturday evening KRQE.com webcast. Here's Ian Schwartz with a quick look at the forecast. Hey, thanks, Tim. We have a pretty potent winter storm. I know May is just around the corner, but it's going to affect the northern mountains tomorrow. You can see the area shading in green, the winter storm, and then very strong winds for Albuquerque as we get into tomorrow. It's going to be pretty bad. So, kind of a two piece storm here. A cold front is going to meet up with the low pressure system and really favor the east slopes of the Sangre de Cristo Mountains, also the Jemez Mountains, where we'll see a good amount of snow. So, that'll start late tonight and then continue through Monday. In Albuquerque, not so much. Snow or rain, although we do have a shot, um, it's really going to be the wind, especially early. So, anyone with plans in the early morning hours, uh, definitely bundle up because it's going to be cold and it's going to be windy. The good news is the winds start to die down in the afternoon and we're going to make way for sunshine and warmer temperatures for the rest of the week. Thank you, Ian. Weekend wind could make things difficult for firefighters battling a handful of wildfires across the state. Some have been burning for days, like the Abrams fire, which has burned more than 12,000 acres so far east of Las Cruces. The fire began because of military exercises in the area. The Miller fire has burned more than 3,000 acres in the Gila north of Silver City. That one is also human caused. The Branch fire near Lovington, which has burned hundreds of acres, is now 90% contained. That fire is no longer threatening any homes. A new New fire is burning in the meantime in the southern Manzanos west of Mountain Air. The Priest Canyon fire was detected just before midnight. So far, that one has burned about two and a half acres. And then there is the Chimenea fire also burning in the Gila Wilderness southeast of Camado. That prescribed burn started Wednesday under better weather conditions, but now it has spread into another prescribed burn area that was not scheduled to burn until the fall. The Albuquerque toddler who was run over last night in an apartment complex parking lot is now in critical condition. Police say a woman backing out of the parking lot ran over the child around 8 o'clock last night on the 3500 block of Tyson Northeast. The little boy suffered serious head trauma. Even though he is still alive, APD's fatal team was called out because there is a chance he will not survive his injuries. APD says the horrible accident should remind all parents to keep an eye on their kids. There's not a whole lot of space to play when you live in an apartment complex other than the parking lot. So we plead to parents, please watch out for your children, your young ones, and let them know that a parking lot is not an appropriate place to play. The child's mom was not around when the accident happened, according to police. Investigators say the driver did not see the child and that she did not appear to be drunk. The DA's office will decide on any possible charges. Stay with KRQE for more news and weather updates. I'm Tim Maestas. Thanks for logging on.